We have a very unique culture that we always want to have our family nearby us. So even for the that person, we, we want to have him at our home. The government have the one memorial day for the missing person. I think that is a very big issue in Vietnam. We start the project about three years ago and we try to find out the best solution to get the root DNA from the born. And another problem is how to do the DNA matching between the sample and the relatives because the war ended about 50 years ago and the relatives of the soldier might pass away a long time so we don't have the DNA for matching. So that is another problem that is very challenging now. We hope we can do as best as we can identify as much as possible because you know that the bone sample might be degraded so much that we cannot recover any DNA from this. So we just do try our best to get the more the better. We started the training about two months ago. It's quite a long time. We learned many, many new techniques and we learned to use many state-of-the-art machines from Kaizen. We have to test the protocol we learned from here with our sample. We have to redo it in Vietnam to ensure that everything is uh, fine. The samples still are already there. I think they are starting to collect the relative sample now. So we, can, we might have the matching very soon. If we apply the high throughput process, we have to make it uh, successful.